guys, welcome back to Storytime. Hi, I'm Pastor Lori from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. I've got another story for us. We're still doing our book, Courageous World Changers. And this one is a modern day hero, Christine Kane. Christine Kane. She is known for halting human trafficking. She grew up in Australia, Christine did. She had a troubled childhood. She was bullied and abused by adults, and she lived in fear. After reading the Bible, she clung to her faith in Jesus to see her through. Christine earned a degree in English from the University of Sydney and met her husband, Nick, during Bible study at church. The evangelist was in her 30s when she discovered she had been adopted after being abandoned as an infant. Her heart-wrenching experiences caused her to be sympathetic to the plight of helpless victims of human trafficking. When Christine learned that two million children are sold each year around the globe, she made up her mind to combat that crime. She and her husband formed the A21 campaign in 2008. This organization is dedicated to raising awareness about the issue providing rehabilitation and care for survivors and taking legal action against traffickers. Inspired by Jesus' instruction in Matthew 9 to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers, Christine later launched the Propel Women program in 2015 to encourage women to seek their potential to serve God. Now one of the now, she is one of the most well-known evangelists in the world. I've never heard of her, but apparently she's known all over the world. Christine has written several books and preaches at mega churches around the globe. She admonishes the selfie generation. We have to fall in love with being a laborer. There is no higher honor than being a co-laborer with Jesus. Uh, she's, that's Christine Kane doing work now. These days, she's to help human trafficking victims. Let's pray so we can be strong like Christine. Lord, we wanna thank you for the life of Christine Kane and the work that she does. I pray you continue to strengthen her to be able to do this important work and help us to be strong like her and keep our faith in you when we have difficult times. In your name we pray, amen. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you had a great Memorial Day and I'll see you again soon, bye.